Hello there. This hour on Verbling, the next in my speaking skills series. In speaking skills, this is a class where you learn fluency, or I should say, different communicative techniques. Oh, let me just mute everyone because I'm getting lots of noise on your end. Thanks. Where you learn the fluency you need in important topics or situations that are going to come up every day in your everyday English. So this will help you gain the fluency you need. We'll learn key phrases, expressions, vocabulary, and we'll do it in a very communicative way. In today's class, we're going to be talking about rules, laws, and procedures. Okay, and I'm going to have you, let me just take a quick look, what I'm going to do. I'm going to have you look at different signs and what they mean in different cultures, uh, different cultures in different uh, countries. We'll talk about some unusual ones, actually. Uh, a little bit of reading, lots of talking. Okay, before we begin, let me just do a quick introduction, a uh, quick Today's not a good day. My brain is not working. Let me just introduce myself, and then we'll get started. I'm John Eric, your verbally teacher for this hour. I'm an American teacher from New York, coming at you today from Lisbon, Portugal, to bring you this class. Finally, if you click on the link in the verbally chat window, when this page loads, it will take you here. Or if you click on my name anywhere in Verbling, you'll go to the same place. This is my profile page. If you follow me by clicking the follow button on the left, you should receive notifications of my upcoming group classes. And on the right, you can book a private tutoring class or package, and I'll work with you on creating a personalized learning plan to help get you to your goals as soon as possible. Please don't book a class. Send me a message first so I can be sure that I have time for you in my schedule, okay? And that's a little bit about me. I want you to get a copy of the material before we begin. So you can click this link if you like. And if you don't see the link, look in the look in the group chat and you'll see it there okay but of course I'll be sharing my screen with you okay let's get started let's let me just make sure your microphones are working so quick hello to uh, Anna welcome back Anna how are you hello John I'm great thanks very good the next person I saw was John uh, Eliadis how do I say your name John Hello, John. John, John. Maybe that's Yanis from yesterday. Okay. Well, I don't know if it's the same person from yesterday. You got to turn your microphone okay. on. Ah, Hello. There we go. Hello, John. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm the same person. Oh, it's Yanis. It's me. Because <laughs> uh, you changed your picture. That's why I was confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I changed it. I, I didn't have any picture, and I put one. Okay, that's what it was. Anyway, you look different today. Yeah. Okay, good to have you back. Uh, we have also Anna Mole, Anna Rodriguez. Hello, Anna. Which yes, Anna is hello. That? There we hello. go. Where are you from, Anna? I'm from Spain. Whereabouts in Spain? Uh, near Barcelona. Near Barcelona. A, um, a small village. <laughs> uh huh. To near the north, Barcelona. to the south. To the east, to the west. Is uh, um, let me see in in Oscar Zaragoza near that part of Spain. Ah, okay. <laughs> I just know the north of Barcelona because that's where everything I owned was stolen one time when I fell asleep on the train. But yeah. <laughs> when they robbed me, they let me keep my train pass, which was really nice. <laughs> oh yeah, they 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 stole all the time. <laughs> but they're very polite about it. Every every time I get robbed in Spain, they're always very polite about it, which I like. So in New York, you just get robbed. Okay, great to have you here, Anna. Let me yeah, just nice see. To meet you. Let me just check everyone's microphone. Rebecca, how's your mic today? Is it working? How are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Good. Excellent. Mr. Jose, hello. Hi. Hello, my Mr. Jose. Mic is working. Your mic is working. Is uh, your, 
Your mic could be better. Be better. Yeah, it's my mic. It could, could be better. Very good. Giancarlo, good morning. Hello, Giancarlo. John, John, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Okay, and the last name I see here is, I don't know how to say this. It looks like Diambo or Dijambo. How do I say your name? Hi, Jambo. Jambo. Hello, Jambo. Hi, fine. And you? Good. Where are you from? I'm from Russia. From Russia. Where in Russia? In Moscow? In no. The north? In, in the south? Savropol. Where? In Savropol. In Sarapon? Stavropol. 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 I don't know where that is. Stavropol. Oh, my God. Can you write that for me? I want to see where that is. If you write it for me in the chat window, I'll look it up. You can write it in Russian, by the way. Okay. If you write it in Russian, it's easier to understand how to pronounce it because in English it'll be all messed up. It's always good to see where people are from. I'll take a look at Google Maps. Hmm. Can you write it for me, Jumbo? Sorry? Can you write the name of the town in the chat window? Mm, okay. You don't mind? Can you write it in Russian, please? Russian? Yeah. <clears throat> because if you write it in English, it might be hard to look up. Mm -hmm. so what do look about recent levels? No? No. <laughs> OK, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's take a look. I'm just taking a quick look on the map. Oh, here we go. My computer's just a bit slow, but uh, okay. Stravropol. Stravropol. Got it. Now I understand. Ah, okay. And let's see if my Stavropol. <laughs> it's not air. <laughs> Stav. Stavropol. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because now I can see it on the map in Cyrillic, <laughs> so it's, it's easier to understand. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, so you're down there in the south. You're you're above Sochi. Mm -hmm. You're kind of in the middle, above Georgia. Got it. Okay, very good. So, great to have you with us. Now, what we're going to do is talk a bit about laws, rules, procedures, and that kind of thing. Um, in doing so, we're going to revise or review modal verbs. So modal verbs, I mean can, could, will, would, shall, should, may, might, need to, ought to, dare, but we're going to use these modal verbs for, for obligation. So this is going to be called modals of obligation. So that's a grammar point that we're going to have to use or revise to talk about permission and rules. And specifically, we're going to try to revise or learn new permission vocabulary, right? Because you can't talk about what a sign means if you can't talk about permission. So these are two goals for today. We're going to focus more on speaking and vocabulary and less on grammar, but it'll come up. So my first question is, before you see some of these crazy signs I'm going to show you, do you, you'll see why I'm asking this in just a second, do you have a pet? <laughs> I have a cat. My cat's name is Levy. Do you have a pet? If you do, is it similar to the picture on the screen? <laughs> no one has a pet? Come on, give me a break. Someone else no. has got a pet. No, I we'll have a dog. I don't have any pet. You don't have any pets, Jose? No. I don't have a pet too. <laughs> no? But I would like to have one like the photo. <laughs> That's a nice one. You need a swimming pool though. Yeah. <laughs> Get a swimming pool and you can have your own Loch Ness Monster. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I heard somebody out there has a dog. Who was it? Yeah, me, 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 John. There you go. I I'm ter I have a lot more respect for you, Giannis. 
<laughs> now I, I have much more respect for you. If you had a cat, I have even more respect for you. But it's okay. <laughs> Sorry, I don't really like cats because I'm a bit allergic too. So. Oh, I'm I'm allergic. I I that's why I take medicine all the time. Okay, and you have a cat. But <laughs> if. <laughs> and you still keep the cat even of if you're course. allergic. I use him as a pillow and I sleep on him at night. Yeah, but uh, you know that's a bit uh, dangerous because a friend of mine mm -hmm. uh, almost got asthma from a cat. You know asthma? I'm not sure if that's the right word. I have asthma. Ah, you have asthma. Okay, that's good. <laughs> you have <laughs> asthma, you're allergic, and you have the cat. I, ha uh, I, I already have asthma. And to help me with my cat, I, yes? have, I have this once a day. Yes. Ah, okay. My friend and, has exactly the same thing. And I have these every every time I need them. And now I have a cat, so it works. You see? <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I'm more allergic to people than I am to cats. I think. Yeah. Uh, so okay. people are worse than cats. <laughs> the reason I'm asking you is because you're going to see some unusual signs. Uh, this is our lead-in to the topic of permission and signs and following rules. So that's why I was curious. Um, uh, have you ever, Giannis, have you ever seen a sign that says no dogs allowed? Yes, of course. Well, Out there, if there's a, how can I say, if there's a, a big garden, how call it? Um, a park. A park, yes. Inside the park, when there is a grass, they don't allow it. Usually, they don't allow the dogs it's, to enter. It's not fair, is it? It's not fair, but <laughs> I think it's because people uh, don't clean up the remaining. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it more polite. It's a of the uh, dog. to clean up. We say clean up after. After. Clean up after, because the thing that the, the dog leaves behind is in the back of the dog. It's the after part. So to okay. clean up after okay. your pet. To clean up after. Clean up after my pet. Okay. Exactly. I'm from New York. In New York, people clean up after their dogs. It's probably, it could be the main reason why I don't want a dog because I cannot walk around with a bag of dog stuff in my hand. I just can't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it, I, I don't some, like it too. There's something wrong with evolution if that becomes my job. Something is wrong. Dogs should carry their own bags of dog stuff. You know what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> <laughs> That's the problem. I don't do that also. I take my dog and we go to the mountain. So there's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then every time your dog has to use the bathroom, he's got to go to the mountain. No, I have a, a backyard, uh -huh. so it's there is a place he can go, so there's not a problem. All right. It sounds like you have a system. So, Giannis is the only one who's got a pet. Really? <laughs> I really can't believe it. Mm. Uh, I want you to look at some of the signs. Uh, I'm going to actually, we're going to come back to the glossary in just a moment. I want you to look at some of the signs here. Let's see if I can do this right. Oh, wait. I've got two different slides. Give me a second. I'm a little bit confused. Where are my signs? Yeah, it's these on the top. Okay, I got it. So what I want you to do is... Give me a second. Okay. I want you to look at the signs and just tell me what they mean. Uh, what you're going to see, what we're going to work on as we talk about this is basically the vocabulary of permission. Okay, So let me call on some people who are a little bit quiet, like Ms. Anna Rodriguez. Hello, Anna. How are you? Hi. What, do you, think the, what do you think the first sign means on the top left? I guess the problem here is I should have chosen signs with no English on them. But unfortunately, these are the ones I have. But anyway, in your own words, what does the first sign mean, and where would you see it? That it's not allowed to give a foot to the bird. Okay, very good. Now, you got to put the words in a different order, though. You can't say it's not allowed to give food. That's 
that's a Spanish sentence structure. Yeah. <laughs> right? Say it like this. Feeding. Mm -hmm. Alimentar. Feeding. Feeding okay. birds is not allowed. Like this. Okay. Okay, take a look at the chat window. I'll, I'll put notes there for you. Feeding birds is not allowed. And mm -hmm. where might you see that sign, Anna? What? Where would you see that sign, do you think? Maybe in Plaza Catalunya in Barcelona. Have you ever been? Yeah, I used to live there. Of, uh, it's full of birds and <laughs> all the people uh, it's feeding. I used to live on Santa Catarina, two streets down from Plaza de Catalunya. Okay. <laughs> so I know maybe, it well. <laughs> maybe in here, uh, I in there is a good uh, place. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Lots of pigeons. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and that's true, because if you feed them, then they're just going to thrive, and there's already too many. So yeah, that could be a good point. In the, in the center of a square, absolutely. Or we think of Trafalgar Square in London with lots and lots of pigeons. Yeah. By the way, quick welcome to Mr. Ali. Long time no see, Ali. How are you? Yeah, how are you doing? Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm great. <laughs> Good. Uh, so we're going to learn about the language of permission by talking about rules and laws. And we're going to start with street signs. Okay? So let's see who else is out there. Mr. Giancarlo, tell me about the sign in the middle. And I want you to use some of the glossary words as you're describing the sign. Look at the words in the glossary. Pick one and use it to tell me about the sign in the middle of the screen. Giancarlo. Yes, uh, it says alligator. Proceed with caution. Mm -hmm. um, well, what does it mean, and where would you find it? Uh, well, maybe uh, the sign is uh, in in parks. In parks? Oh. Well, <laughs> not exactly in parks, but maybe I, in. Uh, I never saw one of these in the park near my house. <laughs> not exactly in parks. But in uh, open areas, where I mean green areas, big green areas, uh, mm -hmm. where mount mountains or maybe lakes or maybe uh, how do you call it? It's not a park, but it's oh. a. How about natural? How about open spaces? Can we open say that? Open spaces, yes, yes, John. Open spaces, natural spaces. Yeah. And it means that there are some alligators, uh, and then people must be careful when enter there. Mm -hmm. When entering there. When entering there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Exactly. And if you use one of those glossary words, what do you think you could say to 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 give uh, to explain the sign? For example, with the birds, giving food or feeding birds is not allowed. I use the first glossary word like Anna did. What could you say about the alligator sign? Uh, you have to use your imagination a little bit. Mm -hmm. I, I am checking the vocabulary and all the words for me don't match with this uh, sign because in a certain way allow, forbid, permit and prohibit mm -hmm. uh, they express something that you can or can't do, that you must or you mustn't do. Right. And in in the in the in this sign, uh, in a certain way, you are not prohibited or you are not allowed in a certain way. But they say, okay, if you enter, enter with caution because there are some alligators over there. Okay, good. So we could say that in a positive way too. Are you prohibited from entering? No. No. Right? Right. So you could say you you're not prohibited from entering, but you should proceed with caution. Right? Or you are what? If I don't say prohibited, you are You're allowed. You're allowed. You're permitted. So you could use them in a positive way or a negative way. That's all I mean. So you're permitted, but you should proceed with caution. You should be careful, in other words. But a good thing to do here is to rephrase it in your own words. Instead of saying proceed with caution, a synonym would be be okay. careful. Yeah. Uh, be careful. Be careful. Look out. Uh, make sure you make sure you look where you're stepping. 
or you get your leg bitten off, that kind of thing. Okay, but you don't have to use them negatively. You can say you are permitted, but be careful. That might be an example. Okay, so far so good. Let's see. Mr. Jose, what do you think about the sign on the right side? In your own okay. words... Dogs are not permitted. I think <laughs> it's not possible uh, to walk around uh, this place uh, with uh, a dog. With a dog? Wait a with second. a dog. I... Dog. Dog. <laughs> yes. Wait dog. a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Yes. You got you to give a hard G here. Dog. Okay. Dog. That's right. And plural dogs. Dog. Dog. There you go. Oh, okay. Okay. So you can our, walk, you can walk but uh, alone without dogs. Without dogs. No dogs. No dogs, dogs. allowed. Dogs. There you go. There you go. Okay. So these were a few signs focusing on pets. Uh, what we're gonna do. Actually, I'm going to jump ahead just for a second. We've got some reading to do, but let me just jump ahead for a second to exercise three, where it says to write the verbs from the dictionary definitions in the box. So look at the look at the words we've been using. If you can fill in the box with these words, allow, forbid, permit, prohibit, Okay. Where do you think that they would go? In other words, I want you to categorize these words as best you can. Give a positive and negative. So, Ms. Ms. Anna Solodolib. I get. Solo <laughs> I'm you, you don't have to solo pronounce it solo di, all the way. <laughs> solo di lo lova, solo di well, lo lova. thank you in a way for, for there's two. There's two Annas, so. Well, I solo get. It. Di Soladi Soladi Lova Soladi Lova Soladi Lova. How do you say your last name? You don't have to say it. I really want to though. Can you say it for me? Well, I don't know how it would be right in English, <laughs> and I don't want it in Russian. So you, you okay. could just say the first part. I I don't really care. Okay. I don't I don't like it. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, so here's what I want you to do. I want you to take one of those words you recall when we were describing the signs, and I want you to put it into the box. So, for example, allow fits into the category of less formal, and it's positive. It's something you can do. What, what do you think would be a less formal word that means something you can't do? Let's categorize what we've learned so far. Forbid. So take a look back here. Got whoops, sorry. Allow, forbid, permit, prohibit. Okay. And let's go back to our box here. Anna, what do you think would go into the the right side? You can't do it, but it's still informal. An informal way to say you can't do it. Forbid. Forbid. Forbidden. Yeah. That works. It's forbidden. It's forbidden. Okay, there you go. You got the idea. Uh, what about Mr. Yanis? What would be a more formal way to say you can do it on the left side? You can do it. You uh, can. And more formal. More formal than allow. Uh, I don't know. You're able to. You're uh, no. Just out of those four choices. Permit, which one permit. Are they? Exactly. Forbid, permit. Exactly. So on the left side, you can do it. Informal, you're allowed. More formal, you're permitted. I would never say to you, Giannis, you're permitted to walk your dog in the park. I'm not a, I'm not a police officer. It yes. sounds too formal, right? Mm -hmm. But I would say, sure, you're allowed to do it there. Okay. On the Back to the right side of the box again. Let's go to, uh, let's see who else is out there here. Uh, oh, Rebecca. I almost forgot about you. Rebecca. On the right side, uh -huh. what, would be, what would be a more formal way to say you cannot do something? And don't forget, so far we have uh, you're, you're forbidden to do it is slightly 
slightly less formal. It's, it's not formal or informal, but what is a absolutely formal way written on a sign that says you cannot do something? Uh, is forbidden. Mm, more formal than that. More formal. Is um, pro, 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 how do you pronounce this word? Prohibit. That's right. Prohibited. 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 Uh, can I ask a question about what's the difference between uh, forbid and ban? The difference is that uh, ban means we don't purchase or we don't use a product or a service, something like that. It's banned. For example, uh, actually, there's not. In some cases, they mean the same thing. Okay, because now you know I'm quite confused about the, those two words. Yeah, in some cases, they could mean the same thing. But, for example, uh, okay, uh, now they're legalizing marijuana in the United States. In some states, marijuana is not prohibited, or it's prohibited, meaning that it's banned. In that case, it's the same. So I guess that you know I guess they're really pretty much synonyms. I'm trying to think of an example where they don't mean the same thing. Okay. Uh, we could say that uh, products from a certain country are okay. Cuban products were banned in the United States. That Cuban, the, yeah. Cuban right? Because there 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 is and there there was and there still is a Cuban embargo. You cannot import products from Cuba. Uh, it's still it's still there today. Uh, and also, there's a ban on sending products. We can't send medical supplies, for example, to Cuba. Um, so it's there's a slight difference because the ban suggests something political. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. But in, yeah. in some ways, are uh, quite similar. Yeah, they they mean the same thing, but I guess the ban has this extra meaning that it's a political decision or politically motivated in some way. Okay. Oh, obviously, if it's prohibited, it's prohibited by law. So, in a way, it's political, but it sounds more like jurisdiction or legislation if you say prohibited. And the other one sounds more like a political decision. So, I guess that's the difference. I don't know. I had to think about it. but um, So, we basically filled in our, our box there. So, just to summarize, allow, less formal, forbid, not formal or informal, but it's there on the top. More formal, we said uh, permitted to do something, and the negative would be prohibited. Okay? So take a look there at the bottom before we do our reading. Uh, if I say, whoops, sorry about that. If I say to you, smoking is forbidden, right? I could also say, with allowed, smoking isn't allowed. Look at number two. Mr. Ali, look at number two at the bottom of the screen. I want you to rewrite the sentence or, or say it again with the word that is to the right of the sentence. So can you read number two in exercise four at the bottom of the screen, Ali? Yeah, parking is uh, prohibited. Mm -hmm. um, now how would you say that with permitted? Yeah, it's um, uh, parking is not uh, permitted here. Good. Parking is not permitted here, or alternatively, parking isn't permitted here, right? You can using a contraction. Okay. So in other words, prohibit is a negative word. Permit is a positive word. Therefore, you have to add a not to make permit negative. That's all this exercise is showing you. Okay, very good. Let's try, we've got two two more down there. So, Ana Rodriguez, what would you say about number three? Read that one for us. Mobile phones are um, allowed. Mm -hmm. So? Mm. Uh, mobile phones are forbidden. Are forbidden, right? Because forbidden is already negative, so you don't need to make the sentence negative. Okay, mm -hmm. that's it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, 
And Mr. Giancarlo, why don't you take a look there at number four? Mm -hmm. Yes. Taking photographs is not is not permitted or taking photographs is prohibited. Okay, that's it. Okay, so hopefully that clarifies which words are positive, which words are negative, and what you need to do to use them interchangeably, when you need to add a negation to the sentence. Okay, so here's the plan. Uh, what we're going to do is this. We're going to read, there's a little text I want you to read called Laws for Pauls. In fact, I'm going to put it back on screen. Give me a second. There we go. If you have this open in your computer, go to slide three. And uh, what I'd like you to do is, let's read through it. I want you to tell me what is the best description of this text. Uh, there's three choices. By the way, I'm going to keep this on screen, but I'm reading off of this page. If you had to summarize this in exercise five, if you had to summarize the text, would it be A, animals in the USA, B, funny animal laws, or C, laws connected with pets? What's the main idea of this text? Okay, so what I want you to do is, actually, let's read through this as a class, and then I'll ask you the main idea and a few questions. Okay, let's read through it as a class. I think it's a little bit easier if we do it that way. So, Mr. Giannis, I want you to take the yes. first text on the left side for us. Read mm -hmm. the caption. What, what kind of animal do you see in the picture? It's a dog. It's a, I don't know which dog is it. I think it's a... It's Griffon. A, yeah? mm, never heard of that before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we call it here, I think. Is it is it some kind of a terrier? Anyone know? I'm not really good with dogs. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's this. Because it either looks like because the fur looks kind of curly, like a tailor, ter terrier, or it could be a schnauzer. Uh, looks a little bit like a schnauzer too. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Here's a schnauzer. If you want to see a schnauzer, give me a second. I'll put it on screen. These little, little German show dogs. If I don't know if it's one of these. I think. Uh, or no, I think it's terrier. It's a terrier, and a terrier yeah, looks like terrier. this. Yeah, maybe it's this kind, kind of at the bottom mm. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, we'll call it a terrier. Okay, first text for us, Yanis. Okay. Right. If you're traveling around the United States with a pet, there are local laws you need to know. For example, if you go for a haircut in Janu, 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 Janu Alaska, you have to leave. Oh, I'm sorry. Outside. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's Juno. Juno. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Okay. Juno, Alaska. Uh, you'll have to leave your dog outside. It's illegal to take a pet in into a barber's. Okay. Okay. What's a barber's? The place where you do uh, what? Place you where you get a haircut. Where you get a haircut. Very important. Dogs must be outside the barber shop. Mm -hmm. Very important. I don't know why that's important, but apparently it's very important in Alaska. Dogs must be outside. They might interfere. Uh, <laughs> let's give me a second here. Let's go to Mr. Jose. Keep going on the top the top second column. Okay. Meanwhile, in Saint Prairie, Wisconsin, dogs, dogs, and cats aren't allowed in cemeteries. In the Californian town of Glendale, you mustn't take a dog in a lift. And in Hathera, 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 no, 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 no. Cathedral. And in Cathedral City, you can take one into a school. You can walk your dog in Waterboro, Maine, but the lead must be shorter than eight feet, about two three point three point uh, four three three point four meters. And remember, you mustn't travel with an animal on the roof of your car in Anchorage, Alaska. Uh, who travels with animals on the roof of their car? Anyone? No, <laughs> I think. It, 
it's maybe it's impossible, they... impossible to travel <laughs> with the <laughs> animal on the roof of your car. <laughs> That's, that seems like a, a, a law everywhere in the world. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, maybe they mean the sunroof or something. I don't know. Maybe maybe if you put your chickens in a cage and you... I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> okay, yes. I, I think it's it's bad luck to travel with your pets on the roof. I have a feeling. Because they tend to fall off. So Mostly for the bad, pet. It's a bad thing. Okay, Ms. Rebecca. Let's, let's take the one down there with the skunk. Can I ask you something? Go for it. What is a cathedral city? Cathedral city is the name of the city in California. Ah, okay, and, okay. And cathedral, as you know, is the main church. Yeah, yeah, I know. So it's the name of the town in California. Okay. Okay, Rebecca, tell us about the skunk. The third one, okay. Mm -hmm. There are laws about hunting animals to... Oh, where are you? I don't know where you are. You were at the bottom in the second column underneath the skunk. See the uh, skunk? Uh, but I can see it because of the icons. Uh, um, well, let me open the... Yeah, sorry. Well, one second, please. Okay. Yeah, because it was... Uh, now, yeah. If you have a pet uh, skunk... Good, skunk. Well, then you'll tell... The meaning. You must then take it into Tennessee. It's forbidden to enter the state with one of these uh, smelly animals. Okay, smelly. And remember, pet rats are allowed in buildings. Montana. That's right. So the, the skunk is right there. That's a skunk in the middle of the page. Are you telling me you've never seen a skunk, Rebecca? Well, in uh, films and cartoons. <laughs> there, actually, there's a famous cartoon, you know? It's Pepe Le Pew, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, here in Spain, I don't know if, uh, if they live in, in my country. I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, Maybe it's for your, for, they are from your country. I don't know. They're definitely in America. Yeah. And here in Spain, the doesn't sound to me they live here. And uh, and uh, here's the funny thing about them, right? Uh, you can smell a skunk from a couple kilometers away. I mean, it's it's pretty amazing. Uh, but there, there's 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 the American skunk. Or actually, this is the French skunk. This is Pepe Le Pew. Everyone, can everyone see that? French. Okay. Did you say French? This one is French because his name is Le Pew. Love you. Okay, love you. Okay, but so if uh, there are some in France, maybe there are some in Spain, but I don't know. There are only cartoon skunks in France, not real skunks. Okay, okay, I think. I have a feeling. But here's the thing, right? Yeah. If they, if they don't, if you don't scare them, they don't spray you because they have a gland in in their tails where they can spray you, and. Uh, yeah, it's a very strong odor, um, uh, but that's the thing. They only do it as a defense. Actually, they're like cats. They're very, they're very tame. You can, you can. People don't have them as pets. Well, some people do, but they're actually very tame. They're very manageable. They're very nice. Look at them. <laughs> very nice one, well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> uh, Okay, let's find okay. a little more. We, we lost Mr. Ali, so we're going to go back to Ms. Rodriguez. Why don't you continue on the third column at the top? If your pet suddenly dies, don't forget you can leave a dead, dead, dead animal on anybody else's property in Conyers, Georgia. Don't leave your dead animal on your neighbor's porch. Very important, okay? Mm hmm if your animal dies, it stays in your property. Okay, keep going. There are laws about hunting animals too. While you are, you are in Virginia, don't forget that hunting is, isn't is allowed on Sundays, except for raccoons. You can kill a raccoon uh, any time before 2 a.m. in Arizona. Hunting camels is forbidden, <laughs> <laughs> and you must never shoot a fish in Wyoming. <laughs> we don't, Wyoming. don't shoot a fish. And 
In Arizona, hunting camels is forbidden. Has anyone seen a camel in Arizona, by the way? I'm just curious because I don't recall seeing camels in Arizona. In fact, I don't, re re I don't remember seeing camels pretty much anywhere. Where are camels? I know they're in Egypt. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know, I, don't know, I don't know where else they are. Look at this. What? How, look at that raccoon. Giancarlo, could you kill that raccoon? Of course not. Look at his face. Look at his pretty little face. <laughs> nice raccoon. Who yeah. would kill a raccoon? Nice. That's, that's, we used to have raccoons in the attic of my house because it was warm. So they'd go to, they'd, they'd crawl in under the tiles of the roof and they would make a little nest up there. They were great. <laughs> 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 they weren't really welcome, but I liked them. Little raccoons. Uh, okay, Ms. Anna, whose name, whose last name shall not it's be mentioned. Me. <laughs> I no. want you to continue on the left side, the last one, please. Great. Uh, what about selling animals? Well, if you're planning to sell chicks or ducklings in Kentucky, you mustn't dye them a different color first. And of course, you mustn't steal animals. In fact, in Louisiana, there's a specific law which says it's illegal to steal alligators. Right. <laughs> because, because we need that as a law. Very important. Okay. Do you, any of you have laws like this in your country? I'm just curious. Like walk your ostrich on the left side of the street or anything like that? If, if you do, please let the group know. Okay, first thing. Which of these titles, or A, B, and C, which of those phrases do you think best sums up the main idea of this little text that we read? If you know it, shout it out. Which is the best option, do you think? For me, it's B. I heard a B? Yeah. yeah. B, okay. definitely B. B. Me uh, <laughs> uh, option A is not the best answer because why? Because they are talking about animals, but uh, specifically, specifically the laws in the USA is mm -hmm. more uh, generic, no? Right. Not all the animals are in the states, so it can't be option A. And option C doesn't really work either. Why? What's wrong with option C? Laws connected with pets. Because they are probably not real laws, they're just funny laws. <laughs> right, right, right. It, it, first, it only mentions funny laws, not all the laws. And not all these things are pets either, like shooting a fish. You're not going to shoot your own pet, so probably uh, it's, a, it's both of those things together. Okay. Um, what I want you to do is... <laughs> yeah, okay. We're going to jump down to part seven here. So as we talk about why these laws might exist... I want to remind you of some of the key words. Remember how we said that if something is informal, we can say it's allowed. If the opposite would be forbidden, if it's more formal, it would be permitted. And if it's more formal but negative, it would be prohibited. I want you to think about those words. I also want you to think about some of the animals we've talked about. By the way, how many animals can you name so far, just from memory? What have we talked about so far? Raccoon, I heard skunk. raccoons. Raccoons and skunks, good. That's two. That's Chickens, it. Chickens, alligators. <laughs> Only one person remembers animals? <laughs> Giannis, give me an animal. Uh... I remember the, the raccoon. Just the raccoon. Well, what a, the, the dog. Okay, mentions dogs. That's true. Specifically, uh, I think it was guard dogs or guide dogs too, wasn't it? Was okay. it? I 
think so. Maybe I'm imagining it. But dogs were mentioned earlier, right? Uh, don't feed the what on the first page? Don't feed the... Who remembers? Birds. Don't feed the birds. The birds, the, yes. So birds. Right, absolutely. And you cannot color your what? What animals can you not color or dye? Uh, I can't remember. A what? Yeah. Well, I think all of them, but, you know. No, no, there was a law specifically. Okay, you, no, I can't remember. If you want to sell these ba Unfinished. baby animals... Oh, right, they mentioned, they mentioned you can't shoot fish. <laughs> and you cannot, you cannot dye or color your chicks. And ducklings. Chicks and ducklings. If you're going to sell a chick that is a baby chicken, it, it has to be in the natural color. Very important law. Okay. Giancarlo, I want you to give me, why do you think these laws are on the books? These are all real, by the way. I didn't make these up. Uh, as you speculate, I want you to use words like allow, permit, uh, forbid, legal, illegal, all those words we talked about to give permission. Why do you think some of these laws, I mean, could you give an explanation for any of these laws? You have to speculate, but what do you think? Well, like, uh -huh. I'll put this back on the screen. Yeah. I'd like you to pick a law and tell me if you could explain it, why it's on the books. Why did that law become a real law? They're all kind of odd, aren't they? Um, Want to give an explanation of any of these? Okay, let's talk about maybe the raccoons. About the raccoons, okay. Yeah, uh, you, can, you can kill them any time before 2 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Even on Sundays, you know, like during church, shoot out the church window and kill a raccoon. It's I, I think it's a strange it's a strange law because how come uh, 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 killing raccoons are it's uh, not permitted, but you can kill them between or before two a.m. So you can or can't kill them, and why before two a.m.? It's strange and interesting to know about it. Because uh, maybe raccoons uh, before 2 a.m. are uh, stepping around or are free to uh, to make some disasters there in the place. Or maybe it's strange to to think about before 2 a.m. you can you are permitted to kill a raccoon, mm -hmm. John. It is strange. <laughs> well. The only explanation I can think of is that after 2 a.m., all the hunters have been drinking, and they're going to start shooting each other. <laughs> right? I, I don't know. After 2 a.m., they're going to, they're going to shoot you by mistake because they're, it's dark and they're all drunk already. I, I don't know. I don't know. That's my explanation. Okay? Yeah. Jose, what do you think about the skunk? If you had to explain the skunk law, right? What do you think? What do you think the reason could be? And don't forget, uh, about, use your uh, about, keywords. Uh, about the uh, what, John? About, about the skunks. Remember the skunks? The skunks. Uh, what the is skunks? the skunks? Oh I, my I don't goodness! See a sk ah. You don't skunks. see a skunk? Oh my goodness! It's the second animal from ah, the, the left second. Half. The second animal. Uh, ah yes, yes. No, yes, yes. It's because forbidden. I, it's yes. forbidden to yes, yes, go I know. to the state of Tennessee with a skunk. Yes. I, I don't know what is the matter because it's not allowed to 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 travel along the this state with skunks, but um, I think uh, it's, fa it's, fa it's uh, because the the police is uh, the the politics have invented some law about it, but it's, I think uh, the, uh, the, politi the, the, the politicians, yeah, the politicians. But uh, wow. this law, uh, this law doesn't doesn't have uh, so much uh, sense. I think don't, don't have uh, don't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't, it doesn't make, make sense. sense. It doesn't make sense in Especially my opinion. Especially because there's probably plenty of skunks in Tennessee. <laughs> okay, here's my theory. 
my theory is that there's so many skunks in Tennessee that there's no room for one more. <laughs> so you have to keep your skunk home with you. Yeah, because they don't have any <laughs> any 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 place more to. They've to reached have more, more, more skunk. They've reached the maximum yeah. sp skunk capacity. That's what I think. Giannis, why do you think your chicks have to be their natural color? <laughs> I, uh, chicks, chicks are the chickens. Chicks are baby chickens. Baby chickens. You can see a chick uh, on the on the right side. Yes. You mustn't dye a chick blue. Whatever you do, do not dye your chicks blue. <laughs> mustn't dye them. I don't know. Maybe you you realize if they're sick when they change color or something. I don't know. Ah, so if you dye them blue, then no. Maybe they get uh, brown if they get sick and they are not. Uh, I don't know. They're they're not good to buy. Uh huh. Yeah. You shouldn't be. buy them if they're in uh, in a different color other than other than yellow. <laughs> and maybe they paint them yellow again and they give them back. I don't know. Could be. Ah, yeah. That's it. That's it. So maybe someone buys a sick chick, right? Gives it back, and the store paints it blue and resells it. Huh? Mm, no, I was thinking like something like uh, maybe someone has a, a chick mm -hmm. who's sick, and sick he's chick? trying to sell it. Or many chicks, and he's painting them yellow, and he's uh, selling them. Yeah, maybe maybe the blue ones go for a higher price. I don't know. Blue chicks? Why? Maybe blue chicks go for a higher price. I don't know. They're cool. Blue's cool. I don't know. Just an idea. <laughs> it's just an idea. I don't know. I'm trying to figure this out myself. Um, here's what I'd like you to do. I'd like you to think about your own country and your own culture for a minute. Mm -hmm. I'd like you to tell me about one law or rule, it doesn't have to be national, it could be about a place where you work, could be about a school where you yes. went, it could be a national law, could be a local law in the city or town where you live, and I want you to tell us what the law is using our keywords, permit, allow, uh, what was it, forbid, okay. and whatever the other one, I have to go back, I forgot what they were, <laughs> but I want you to state the yes. law. And we're going to try to guess the reason for that law to be in the law books. Okay, so think a minute. Try to formulate your ideas, and then let's see if you can present one uh, from your country, culture, school, work, something like that. Let me see if I can give you one. Yes. I, I have uh, one, John. Go for it. Okay. In Spain, uh, nowadays, it's not uh, allowed to walk around the beach with a pet because I, I think uh, it's not uh, so much uh, health because the 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 pet uh, made uh, the pet ma the pet made uh, he, uh, its necessities around the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We say we say they they do their business. Ah. <laughs> they do their business. Ah, they, they do. They do. Their business is the is the key word. That's that's the expression. They do their business. Okay. They do okay. their business around the beach. <laughs> yes, which is pretty bad, especially yes. if you're not wearing shoes and you walk in it. Yes. Absolutely. <laughs> so you could state it like this. So you would say to us, uh, uh, walking your pet on the beach is prohibited and then we would as a class try to yes. guess the reason why so we would say something like is it because they do their business on the beach and you'd say yes. bingo okay very good very good someone else give us a law a law or a rule but don't explain it just tell us okay. what it is can I say one go for it Giannis. Go okay for it. it's similar to Jose's law uh, okay. In my country, they're not allowed to to swim. The animals are allowed on the beach, but they're not allowed to swim. To, uh -huh. Is that a form? Is that a formal 
or informal law? Is it something that people agree on, or is it really the law? Because if it's law, you got to say it in a more formal way. Yeah. Yeah. So um, animals. Uh, the animals are prohibited from entering uh, the water. Very or, good. Animals are prohibited from entering the water. Yeah. Yes. Okay. What you mean, the ocean? Yes. Ah, interesting. Class. Let's see if we can figure out this law, and Yanis maybe can verify. Why are animals prohibited from entering the water in Greece? All over Greece, by the way? Everywhere? Most of it, yes. Only in some oh. certain beaches uh, is allowed to... On the islands? Is the same yeah. thing? Most wow, of the islands, yes. Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> I don't know the reason, so don't ask me. <laughs> Class. I, I Why do you think that law exists? Why do you think that's the law in Greece? Anna S., I bet you know. I, I think, I think uh, because it used to swim uh, with an animal, uh, and the, the animal could uh, da damage uh, you. <laughs> the, the animal could damage you? Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, Maybe. Maybe. Anna, what do you think? Well, it's fine if the animal is yours, but it's... If it's not yours, you're not comfortable to swim with it. And ah. also, it, like you said, they, <laughs> they will do their business right in the water. <laughs> and right. also, yeah, maybe. Maybe. You, <laughs> the germs on them, you could catch some disease from them, I it's, guess. So it's, it's, it's not, not really a sanitary genetic. thing to swim with animals. Right. So it's not hygienic or not sanitary, right? You can also say hygienic. It doesn't sound very hygienic to go swimming with animals. I have a different theory. I think the theory is uh, it will attract too many sharks because people, your sharks will say, yum, look at that animal, <laughs> yum, yum. And then there will be more sharks no, and no, then no. no one will swim in the islands of Greece and they'll lose all the tourism. That's my I theory. <laughs> there's no shark in Greece. <laughs> no yeah, shark. because there's no animals. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's why. Interesting. Think about it. It makes sense. Okay, we've got time for one more. Who's got one final law? We've got time for one last one. I have to plug in my computer. Excuse me for a second while I try to get my cable before my computer shuts off. One last one. Who wants it? Anna Rodriguez, I bet you have one, don't you? Yeah, but <laughs> no. Do you have I one don't. for us? Yeah. No? Yes? No, no, no. no. <laughs> for some reason, my mind is also blank. I know I had one earlier, and I can't remember what it was. Um, okay, I'll tell you one. In New York City, this is true. I'm not making this up. In New York City... I don't know the exact amount, but in New York City, if I remember right, uh, you receive, uh, let's put it this way, it is prohibited to cross the street anywhere except at the intersection. It's nothing to do with animals. It's prohibited to cross the street anywhere except where you see a traffic light uh, and a crosswalk. When I was living there, uh, when this law came to effect, I believe you had to pay $300, which in today's money would probably be like almost double, you know, like 500 or something like that. It was a lot of money to charge you. Uh, true story. Why do you think that law was on the books in New York? Because that's the right thing to do. Here in Greece, nobody's yeah. crossed the road from the intersection, from the cross-section. Right. And, wh and what's the problem? Because it's called jaywalking, by the way, it's called jaywalking. That's the name of the law. Of the the violation is called jaywalking. Jaywalking. Okay. Because the cars must stop every five or ten meters, so the people can't pass. Right. Right. They are well, annoying for the for the cars and for the traffic for the. I don't know. Well, well, the reason in New York was different. It's because in New York the cars didn't stop for the people. They didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, yeah. That and the police force needed some extra revenue, perhaps. I'm not really sure. Yeah. 
they anyway. should give a fine for the cars, only fine for the people. Then they they absolutely should. You are absolutely right. <laughs> there is there was more cars than people when I was living there yeah. last. Okay, we're going to stop here. Okay, I hope that we revised some vocabulary talking about different ways to talk about permission. Uh, probably we're going to follow this up on Thursday with a complete grammar lesson, but I'll be back in just a minute for fluency fundamentals. This is a vocabulary class to give you the fluency you need by looking at the vocabulary in an important topic. And today's topic, I forgot what it is. Oh, describing feelings and emotions coming up in just a minute. John, okay? can I ask you something? Go for I it. I I cancelled my subscription for the next lesson by mistake, and now I cannot subscribe again. You should. I don't think it's a full class. You should be able to enter. Okay, I will try again. You should. I don't think because I don't think there's nine people signed up, so I think there's space. Okay. I I don't I don't really know how those things work because I'm okay. actually. I'll give, give it a try it. again. Give it a try. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. See you in a moment. Don't go too. Bye. Thanks for the lesson, John. Bye bye. bye. bye.